if I were to interview you for a job, for employment, I wouldn't ask for your resume. No, I wouldn't ask for it. Instead, I would ask what gym you go to. Where you choose to work out says everything I need to know about you. Let's find out who you really are. Equinox. But what does what Equinox say about you? Okay, it says you think you're from the future where you live on a space station and poor people are extinct. If this were the Hunger Games, you'd live in District 1 and you'd be damn proud of it. All the people from all the other gyms hate you. I'd hate me too if I were poor. The only reason they're revolting is because they don't live in District 1. You don't see anyone rioting in District 1, do you? No, because you don't riot. You barely even work out. You pay people to do that for you. They're called the help, also known as personal trainers, also known as the help. Everything seems easier at Equinox. The weight's even way less at Equinox because Equinox members should not have to experience third world problems like struggle or gravity. You take no set to failure because you're not a failure. You work out at Equinox. Good for you. Planet Fitness. If you actually endure the shame of working out at a Planet Fitness, it means you're one of two people. One, you're broke. The only $10 you can scrape together every month has to go to working out. You're basically a fitness immigrant. You've worked in a coal mine your entire life so you can save up for a ticket in steerage aboard the Titanic. You have a goal and only one way of getting there. Spoiler alert, the Titanic has other plans. Planet Fitness is designed to sink your dreams. Huh? You, you wanna lift heavy? Iceberg. You wanna lose weight? Pizza. Which brings me to the second type of person at Planet Fitness. The person that's scared of fitness and intimidated by in-shape people. If the first person is getting on board the Titanic, you are getting on board a carnival cruise. You're gonna end up at the same place you started from, but you're gonna tell yourself you're actually going somewhere. And it's dirt cheap, so why the hell not? Bring the whole family. See you in church. College gym. You are in college. We get it. This means you love yourself about as much as most people hate you, your parents included. If you're lucky, you'll graduate college with an education. But if you're smart, you'll graduate with gains. The only useful thing I got out of college was lifting. Basically, it was like a $50,000 a year gym membership. 700 grand in total. No regrets, none. I didn't pay for it. Sally did. Sally May. Sally may not see a dime from me. Sally may see the D though. Hey Sally, I got a loan for you. Yeah, loan you some of this D. With interest. In my balls, you interested? You just started lifting and you can't wait to go home for summer and show off all 10 pounds that you gained and wear a tank in public for the first time. You are a hot shot. It's like finally being able to tie your hair up into a shitty dick nub of a man bun and you can't wait to hit the gram. Gold's Gym. Some people are dentists. Some people are lawyers. You are a bodybuilder. This is your job, except you don't get paid to do it and no one hired you. In fact, you actually pay to do it. And you also work full time at Enterprise on the side for a living and forever. 24 hour fitness. You are a 24 hour human. This is a 24 hour gym. It's a gym with the exact same lack of identity every hour of the day, just like you. LA Fitness. LA Fitness is a cheap equinox. It's secondhand luxury. LA Fitness is like buying a Hyundai Genesis because you think people will mistake it for a Bentley. You are the guy who goes to LA Fitness in Hollywood, Florida, and you tell people you used to live in New York. They're over here thinking Manhattan, but really you lived in Long Island City, Queens, New York City, New York. David Barton Gym. I'm gonna try to describe this in terms you might understand. Working out at a David Barton Gym is like being double teamed by Batman and the Joker. Except the Joker is a chick dressed like a clown with a strap on and Batman is an actual bat. And the whole time you're wondering why there's so much gym equipment in this nightclub. But either way, you're totally down for it. Everyone knows you're in shape. It's obvious. It's obvious because you're only wearing suspenders. And being in shape is still the least obvious thing about you. YMCA. You're a dad forcing his kid to lift. Or you're a kid being crushed by 300 pounds while his dad yells at him and refuses to help. Bally's. When you say you're going to Bally's to get cut, that means you're literally going to get stabbed. 
Bally's is the Sears of gyms. You were brought here by a coupon and brought out by an ambulance. Boxing or MMA gym? Please, please tell me more about how big ass bodybuilders are pussies because they can't even fight. You feel better now? At least my cauliflower is on the side of my chicken, not the side of my face. Please don't punch me. Unless you're Ronda Rousey, then you can punch me. Tongue punch me, right my dirt star. I don't know if I should say that. I don't know if that's okay to say to her. She might actually do it. You know, like actually give me a rim job. Like with her fist though. <laughs> nope. Gonna, no, I'll take it, i take it all back, Rhonda. Maybe some dinner? A nice, I don't know. I respect women. Good thing we're not recording this. Hope she doesn't see this. CrossFit gym. What does a CrossFit gym say about you? Nothing you haven't already said about yourself. Other things you should do with yourself. Kill. What you're already doing, gradually, for time. A, a local no-name gym. Where's the matching 60? And no, I do not want to see your Mumford & Sons cover band at the Pumpkin Festival. Keep it moving, you fucking townie. You smell like a diner. Powerlifting gym. You are Asian. Even if you're not, you are. The sports club. You're here on your lunch break. But the important thing is, you're here. And you have a lunch break. It could be worse. See Bally's. Home gym. I have a really nice liquor cabinet in my house, but that doesn't mean I'm sitting here getting shit-faced by myself every night. When it comes to lifting and drinking, what's the point of being at your best if no one's around to see it? Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. News Flash. I will be at the Olympia this year, hawking powders for all you fans. Also, because I suffer from crippling loneliness and I love when people compete for my attention, throwing a contest. The winner of this contest uh, will get to have dinner with me. Hey, Uncle Dom, why, why not live together? You know, get a workout in. I plan to be so shit-faced that the only thing I'll be able to do is open and close my mouth. And there's more. The two runners-ups uh, will get free bros-ups, including a brand new thing that's coming out. Stay tuned for details on how to enter the contest and uh, how to enter your money into my Ponzi scheme. Is that all right? Is it good? Cover all the things? There's no one in there.